Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I kind of want to talk about Caesar King one more time before the bio comes out in like four or five days. Because a few days ago, I made a video why I'm skipping Jane Dow for Caesar King because of reason I wanted, but also at the same time, after watching the videos like the week before the actual characters actually came out, it confirmed my bias. Hell, it strengthened my bias. And with everything I've seen, like she might well be like one of the most universal characters in the game and the most like absurd characters in the game. And I kinda wanna talk about this, but I can't really show any footage of that because if I show any of that from like I went to lose or anyone else without like access to like the test server, like I'm pretty sure I consider like leak content, so I won't say show anything for risk of getting a channel strike. But what I would do, I will talk about everything she does now and why I think she's like absurdly broken. Like the amount of passion I'm feeling for this character, like I just need to talk about it. So yes. So in my last video where I talk about it, I went through everything else in the live stream. And from the live stream, she had like so much strong features. The fact that she had a fat ass shield, the fact that she had like interrupting resistance if you do a perfect dodge or defensive counter she apply an effect to the enemies that make them take more damage but one thing i said in a video like there's a room with the fact that she had like a fair amount of days effect compared to something like a stunner and i kind of got confirmed yeah she basically a pseudo stun character because her shield skills of her impact and if you don't know what impact is that basically stats that increase like the days effect aka a stun and that's actually really good because for the fact that if you're a new player and uh, you only have ambi and you wasn't able to get chingy and like con and curly to skip you like a plague this could be a very strong option because for one you can get a strong defensive kit that give you big shield but also the fact that they can also do a fair amount of days damage to stun the enemy it is really good to have but we're not even done talking about like how strong like caesar gonna be so like if you remember in the live stream it was stated that caesar can like increase our uh, hindrance resistance to make us like get knocked up like ragdoll less and less by getting staggered by the enemy but one that effect does go to your whole party member and it lasts for like an insane amount of time like more than you expect and it's so easy to refresh because all you have to do is just use the x special or was it a perfect counter? Either way, that is so piss easy to do because from what I've seen, see the king is gonna be the Zhongli of this game. Her shield itself looking like it can take like multiple like heavy instances of attack from like strong bosses or elite. And then the hindrance resistance will be so massive to let's say you slip up and you mess up like Getting a hindrance distance, like if you're like a boss or elite, especially a very aggressive elite. Like if you miss time, the perfect dodge, or like if the enemy caught you lacking. Caesar will allow you to get punished less. Would that by itself already make you like so valuable for like casual players who just want to play and get all rewards? I wouldn't care to like that, it's very nice to have. And lastly, when Caesar or any allies have the shield applied to them on field, they will get an unconditional attack buff when the shield applied to them and it can go up to 1000 attack and that's in a core passive so if you can't you want to level that up as high as you can. But like, this is insane so Caesar is a character that gives you big shield also increasing your hindrance resistance slash a buff out the fact that she can make the enemy take more damage and buffing your attack up for free and also can act like a stun character too like this character does so much for this one character slot like i knew they were gonna make these hybrid roles but i didn't think they would come so quick or so powerful like so early on in the game lifespan like damn now i see why she the leader of the sons of calatin like Damn, she hard carries. Like this character, like I don't want to say too much because things could change before her launch. Like if they keep her that way, like this character is gonna break the game for real. Like I feel like players are gonna get worse at this game because of how comfy she's gonna be and the fact that she can stun and be a pseudo buffer is insane. Granted, if you don't want to pull her, don't feel forced to pull her, but goddamn, if you're playing for meta or want a very good character, like see are looking like she got it like i was already adamant to skipping jane for caesar from the live stream but did just like 
damn. See the king is just flat out broken. And for all the people that on the Caesar King train like me, like we're gonna be eating good with 1.2 comes out for real. And yeah, that's about it. So guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you for sure. And let me know if you're gonna go pull for Caesar King or you're gonna skip it. Let me know down in the comment section because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna kill you, meh. I probably might kill you, but at the same time, still comment. Anyways, cause I love that stuff. And also come by and join my Discord server. It's in the pinned comments if you want to talk to me or anyone in my community. But with all that said, take care, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.